Our bodies are amazing machines, they are capable of incredible things, but have you ever stopped to think about what makes it all work? How do we move, think, and feel? The answer lies in a complex and fascinating network, the nervous system. The nervous system is like the body's electrical wiring. It carries signals throughout the body controlling everything we do. It's how we react to sudden danger. It's how we experience joy from a beautiful sunset. Imagine this, you touch a hot stove, your nervous system springs into action. It sends a message from your hand to your brain at lightning speed, danger, heat. Your brain in turn sends a command back, withdraw hand now. All this happens in a fraction of a second, protecting you from harm. The nervous system is divided into two main parts, the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system. The central nervous system consisting of the brain and spinal cord is the command center. The peripheral nervous system branches out, carrying signals to and from every corner of the body. Together, they keep us connected to the world around us and in tune with ourselves. The human brain, a three-pound universe. It's the most complex structure known, more intricate than any galaxy we've observed. The brain is the seat of consciousness, the source of our thoughts, emotions, and memories. Think of the brain as a giant control room. It receives a constant stream of information from the outside world through our senses, sight, hearing, touch, taste, and smell. The brain processes this data, making sense of it all. But the brain does much more than just react. It allows us to learn, to dream, to create. It stores our memories, both precious and mundane. The brain is the wellspring of our personalities, shaping who we are. Scientists are still unraveling the mysteries of the brain. Every new discovery reveals its astonishing complexity. We are only beginning to understand the full potential of this remarkable organ. Connecting the brain to the rest of the body is the spinal cord, a long, delicate structure that runs down the back. Think of it as the body's information superhighway, a crucial link in the nervous system's communication network. The spinal cord is like a cable, carrying messages back and forth between the brain and the body. Sensory information from the body travels up the spinal cord to the brain, where it is processed and interpreted. Motor commands from the brain travel down the spinal cord, directing muscle movements. But the spinal cord is not just a passive conduit, it also plays a vital role in reflexes, those lightning-fast responses that help us avoid danger. Imagine stepping on a sharp object. The spinal cord takes charge, instantly sending a signal to withdraw your foot before your brain even registers pain. Protecting this vital pathway is the spinal column, a series of bones called vertebrae. The spinal cord is a fragile structure, vulnerable to injury. Damage to the spinal cord can disrupt communication between the brain and the body, leading to paralysis or other impairments. The nervous system is built upon a vast network of specialized cells called neurons. These are the tiny messengers that carry information throughout the body, the fundamental units of the nervous system. Neurons are like electrical wires but far more complex. They have a cell body containing the nucleus which directs the neurons' activities. Branching out from the cell body are dendrites, tree-like structures that receive signals from other neurons. Extending from the cell body is a long, slender fiber called the axon, which transmits signals to other neurons, muscles, or glands. The axon is like a cable, carrying electrical impulses away from the neuron's cell body. The nervous system contains billions of neurons, each connected to thousands of others. This intricate web of connections allows for rapid and efficient communication throughout the body. Section 5 Synaptic Spark, where neurons talk. Neurons don't actually touch each other, instead they communicate across tiny gaps called synapses. These junctions are where the real magic happens, where electrical signals are converted into chemical messages. When an electrical impulse reaches the end of an axon, it triggers the release of neurotransmitters, chemical messengers, that carry the signal across the synapse. These neurotransmitters bind to receptors on the receiving neuron, like keys fitting into locks. This binding action can either excite or inhibit the receiving neuron, making it more or less likely to fire its own electrical impulse. In this way, signals are relayed from one neuron to the next, allowing for complex communication within the nervous system. There are many different types of neurotransmitters, each with its own specific effects. Some neurotransmitters are associated with mood, like serotonin and dopamine. Others are involved in muscle movement, like acetylcholine. Understanding how neurotransmitters work is key to understanding how the nervous system functions. 
Section 6. Body and Symphony. The Nervous System's Orchestra. The nervous system is like a conductor, orchestrating the complex symphony of the human body. It controls everything from our heartbeat to our breathing, from our digestion to our movements. It keeps our internal organs functioning smoothly and allows us to interact with the world around us. The autonomic nervous system, a division of the peripheral nervous system, regulates involuntary functions like breathing, heart rate, and digestion. It works behind the scenes, keeping our bodies running smoothly without us even having to think about it. The somatic nervous system, on the other hand, controls voluntary movements. When you decide to reach for a cup of coffee, it's your somatic nervous system that sends the signals from your brain to the muscles in your arm and hand, directing their movements with precision. The nervous system is constantly at work, even when we're asleep. It's a testament to its efficiency and elegance that we're often unaware of its constant activity, keeping us alive and functioning. Section 7 Sensory Input Motor Output The Loop of Life Our senses are our windows to the world providing us with a constant stream of information. But how does this information get from our eyes, ears, nose, tongue, and skin to our brain? where it is interpreted and acted upon. Sensory receptors, specialized cells located throughout our body, detect stimuli from the environment such as light, sound, pressure, temperature, and chemicals. These receptors convert the stimuli into electrical signals, which are then transmitted to the brain via sensory neurons. The brain then processes these signals, creating our perception of the world around us. It's how we see a beautiful sunset, hear our favorite song, smell freshly baked cookies, taste a delicious meal, and feel the warmth of a loved one's embrace. But the nervous system doesn't just receive information, it also acts upon it. Motor neurons carry signals from the brain to muscles and glands, directing our movements and regulating bodily functions. This constant loop of sensory input and motor output is the essence of how we interact with the world. Section 8. When circuits falter, nervous system disorders. The nervous system is a marvel of complexity but like any complex system it can malfunction. When the nervous system is damaged or diseased, the consequences can be devastating, affecting our movements, senses, thoughts and emotions. Stroke, one of the most common neurological disorders, occurs when blood flow to the brain is interrupted, depriving brain cells of oxygen and nutrients. This can lead to a wide range of impairments depending on the area of the brain affected. Parkinson's disease, a progressive disorder that affects movement, is caused by the degeneration of dopamine-producing neurons in the brain. This leads to tremors, stiffness, and difficulty with balance and coordination. Multiple sclerosis and autoimmune disease damages the protective covering of nerve fibers, disrupting communication between the brain and the body. This can cause a wide range of symptoms including fatigue, weakness, vision problems, and difficulty with coordination. These are just a few examples of the many disorders that can affect the nervous system. Understanding these conditions is crucial for developing effective treatments and improving the lives of those affected. Section 9. The Nervous System. A Marvel of Complexity. The nervous system is a testament to the power of evolution, a masterpiece of biological engineering. It's a network of breathtaking complexity, yet it functions with remarkable efficiency allowing us to experience the world around us and live our lives to the fullest. From the simplest reflexes to the most complex thoughts and emotions, the nervous system is at the heart of what makes us human. It's a system worthy of our awe and wonder, a testament to the beauty and complexity of the natural world. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the nervous system, we gain a deeper appreciation for the fragility and resilience of the human body. We are but intricate networks of cells, yet from this complexity arises consciousness, creativity, and the capacity for love. The nervous system is a reminder that we are part of something much larger than ourselves, connected to the cosmos by the very atoms that make up our being. It's a humbling thought, but also one that fills us with a sense of wonder and possibility.